Say hello to the Segway HT, an evolution in personal transportation. The Segway HT is built for the way you move, and there's a place for one in every lifestyle. So get ready to change the way you think about travel. In 1999, prolific inventor Dean Kamen saw a need when he watched a young man in a wheelchair struggle to get over a curb. He knew that science and engineering could be used to improve people's daily lives. From that inspiration came the Independence iBot Mobility System, a self-balancing wheelchair that could climb steps and roll over rough terrain. With that breakthrough technology came the vision for a self-balancing machine for people with full mobility. He gave this new design concept the code name Ginger. Ginger received a new name, Segway Personal Transporter. Prior to its introduction, the Segway PT new product development process was cloaked in secrecy. Rumors spread on the internet, creating some unrealistic expectations. It isn't cold fusion. It is not cold fusion. This, however, also generated media coverage and publicity. Its innovative design is based on Segway Smart Motion technology. The Segway PT uses a combination of sensors, computers, and motors to keep the rider balanced. The primary sensor system controls an assembly of gyroscopes, monitoring your movements 100 times a second to stabilize you and the Segway PT. If you lean forward, it moves forward. Lean back, it goes in reverse. And unlike a bike, you can carry packages and the Segway PT will compensate for the new weight. The Segway PT is engineered to operate under a variety of environments and tested to withstand vibration, temperature shifts, and exposure to moisture. It gets up to 24 miles to a single charge and has a maximum speed of 12 miles per hour, about two to three times faster than a person can walk. It doesn't provide the exercise that a bike affords, but for those longer trips, it can definitely make the going a little easier. It requires minimal maintenance, just check the tires and keep the battery charged. The Segway PT was initially marketed to the commercial and government sectors. When you market to commercial marketplace, you can go much more towards the rational. They've got to like the product, they have to have confidence in it, but at the end of the day what they're looking for are discrete benefits. Maybe it's uh, return on investment measured as cost savings, or it's a higher service level for the customers, or it's a better response time for a security officer, or whatever it might be there's a rational benefit associated with usage of the product, saving gasoline, reducing pollution, et cetera. And so we want to get those messages out in front of those commercial customers. We do that through what I'll call vertical marketing. So the police and security segment is a big segment for us. The Segway PT has proven to be a bridge builder between the public and the police, as it has encouraged interaction and conversation. In 2002, the Segway PT went on sale to the public through Amazon.com and thousands were sold in this manner. In 2004, the company began building a worldwide network of dealers and distributors. Sales outlets have continued to grow, and currently, Segway has more than 100 U.S. dealers and nearly 50 distributors internationally. The dealer network has become the primary distribution channel for sales of the product, facilitating 90% of all purchases. This selective distribution process makes sense for this type of product. Customers can inspect the different models and get answers to questions. One of the things that has to happen when a product becomes adopted is it has to move from being a phenomenon of product technology only to a market phenomenon where people, various customer groups are buying the product and therefore their peers look around and say, yes, I want to buy that product because you're buying the product. Um, that market adoption is what we want to create, not just product uh, interest, but also interest from the market and the market use of the product. So our marketing materials have to convey those messages. At a price tag of $4,500 to $5,000, the Segway PT is still an unsought product for many people. To continue to grow, the company must persist in producing informative promotion campaigns and address some critical obstacles. 
One of the greatest hurdles the new transportation device has had to overcome is government regulation concerning sidewalk usage. As you can see, we're, uh, we're very sidewalk friendly. We are empowered pedestrians. The company has continually pointed out the environmentally friendly nature of the electric powered Segway PT. We're very efficient, we are zero emissions, we uh, get the equivalent of 450 miles per gallon if you convert gasoline energy into electricity. It's, you know, less than the cost of a newspaper to charge it up. It's like a penny a mile if you want to think of it that way in electricity cost. In 2004, the company launched its first regional marketing campaign. This included new customer materials, dealer displays, and dealer advertising. The new campaign showcased a new look and feel for the brand. The company's mission? To create fun, smart transportation with the tagline, Get Moving. If word of mouth is the pot of gold for a new product strategy, then Segway PT has found the mother load. From the beginning, customer enthusiasm has been the one constant. Owners continually talk of the fun and excitement of riding a Segway PT. They've even started a number of websites devoted to the Segway and to getting the word out. In 2003, owners and enthusiasts held the first Segway Fest to celebrate all things Segway. The Fest has been held every year since. Also, market exposure has been helped by some well-received placement on television shows. Efforts have also focused on making the Segway PT easier to own with financing options for consumers and extended warranties for commercial customers. The Segway PT is still in the early stages of its product life cycle. In general, the speed with which a product moves through its introduction and growth stages varies according to product characteristics, market characteristics, competition, and environmental factors. The initial marketing strategy for a product will also affect market acceptance. A product will move quickly through the introduction and growth stages when it has high relative advantage compared to alternative products and is highly compatible with a buyer's current attitudes, lifestyle, and usage situation. The more complex a product is to understand and use, the slower will be its rate of adoption. In addition, if the product can be tried in small amounts, potential buyers perceive less risk associated with initial trial, and this will speed adoption. Communication of the new product will affect market acceptance, since buyers must first learn about a new product before the buying process can be initiated. Thus, a company's communication strategies and the degree to which favorable word of mouth occurs will impact sales. Successive generations of product have been much more driven by the response of the marketplace as well as the technology advances that we've been able to make. So there's a combination of both technology push as well as market pull for particular features or the look and feel of the machine. In 2006, Segway introduced the second generation Segway Personal Transporter. The new products offer whole package solutions for consumer and commercial customers. And so one of the main reasons we create packages is to create that use case, create that uh, um, use. I look at it and I say, that's the police model? Okay, I can use that for patrolling and security operations, law enforcement, that type of thing. Commuter, I think I know what I would use that one for. Uh, golf, pretty obvious. And um, so we've created the packages to tie the product to a specific use. On the technology front, the product has become even more intuitive and enjoyable to ride. The I2, you lean right and you lean left and the, uh, the machine's actually divided into an upper and lower half. The upper part moves with the person, the lower half follows the ground. And that really took the uh, user experience to the next level of being extremely intuitive, extremely forgiving, and universal. It's um, uh, ambidextrous, you can ride it with the right hand, with the left hand. And so uh, one of our key principles is universal design, that the best user interfaces require less and less thought. It also helps us in the construction of the product to make the product uh, easier to manufacture and uh, more modular, which uh, both really are market-driven issues, um, the easy to manufacture so that we can ramp the business and make the product available in higher volumes, which the, the customers are demanding. We're having trouble keeping up. A new wireless info key is used to power the unit on and off remotely and activate an anti-theft alarm. The second generation Segway PT product line includes the i2, 
their most versatile and popular model, the X2, as well as six product packages targeted at niche market segments and specific riding environments. With the new products came a new marketing campaign to emphasize the simplicity of using the Segway PT and demonstrating how the product fits into people's everyday life. Simply moving became the company's new motto. The marketing campaign includes advertising in police and security publications, updated brochures and dealer materials, and an online product configuration that allows people to build their own dream machine on Segway.com. In addition, the company makes the Segway Robotic Mobility Platform, a customizable platform that can transport heavy payloads over a variety of terrains. Continuous innovations have led to product concepts like the Centaur, a four-wheeled vehicle based on the Segway technology. To further the Segway name and reputation, the company has started to market Segway Smart Motion Technology, licensing the Segway technology to third parties and co-developing products with other manufacturers. The metaphor of frog kissing is, is really something that Dean uses a lot to describe the process of invention. Um, based on the idea that you have to kiss a lot of frogs to find a prince. It displays a uh, compelling and interesting idea that allows you to uh, then make some investment in an innovative idea. It, it's all part of the sort of the idea of failing faster to succeed sooner. You encourage people to go out and do things um, and fail. I think the key principle is failure can be best tolerated when it happens quickly because then you have time to recover. So companies can't handle gigantic million dollar development programs that um, you have no idea whether they're going to be a market success or not. But you can handle um, several days and thousands of dollars that can be spent and it's amazing what creative motivated individuals with a lot of freedom can do with that little amount of resources. Segway is passionately devoted to developing fun, smart transportation. Their ultimate goal, a Segway personal transporter in every garage and the Segway smile on every face.